Hey folks, Keith McGowan. I am the Outboard Dad here to help you have a better boating experience. Today, we're going to continue on with our Mercury 150. We're kind of in the home stretch here. Please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have. Remember, my used outboard motor guide will be on Amazon very soon. If you purchase it, it'll be a $20 value. And you send me an email to keith at outboarddad.com. With proof of purchase, I will give you a free counseling session to help you with your outboard, or maybe one you're looking to buy, or maybe a boat that you're looking to purchase, or maybe the one that you're working on now that you need help with. So what we did, I got my favorite stuff. Well, some of my favorite stuff. I got lots of favorite things. JB Weld, got my two-part epoxy, mixed it up. We clean that piece up. We clean the little piece up really good. And when I say clean, I brush the heck out of it. I wire wheeled the heck out of it. And then I clean it with brake cleaner. It's almost impossible to get all of the oil out of a piece of aluminum that is porous, right? This is a cast aluminum. And the oil in the exhaust has just been on this for 20 years or so running like that, 23 years or whatever it is. And it's almost impossible to get all of it out, but we brake clean it and brush it and brake clean it and brush it. Then I went over it with my um, flap disc to get it extra clean. And kind of I wanted to get some grooves in it too, kind of a, a, um, a heavy grit because I wanted some grooves because I wanted to have a mechanical seal as well. So as you can see here, we just JB welded that up. I put some extra on the sides and on the back where it was all cleaned up. Now we're just gonna get this surface smooth so we can mount this back on here and put our bolts back in it. Yes, I am old school with a file. So the idea is make it nice and smooth, which it is now. Now I can slide my file across it. It doesn't have any, any high spots or anything like that. So now we're ready to put this back together. First, we got another bolt we have to take out. We let it soak. I'm gonna get my torch out and heat it up a little bit. Put a block of wood in here because I want, don't wanna mar up this surface. The other side is where the exhaust plate mounts, so it's not that critical. And I'll show you, there's a few slots in that exhaust plate mounting so that the exhaust can go through it on certain sides over here. So we'll, I'll show you how that works as well. It's like there's two slots. I'm pretty sure it's because when water, when you're sitting in the water and just idling, the exhaust can't really push down through the water out the prop like it can when you're shooting across the water. So it has to shoot out the back of the engine. So what I did, same thing I did with the other one. We gave this a few taps here with our heavy hammer. It's been sitting overnight. Let's see if this will come out like this. If it doesn't, then we will heat it up with the torch. And it is not budging. So we're gonna heat this up with the torch, which means I gotta get my block of wood out of here so we don't start a fire. Always wear safety glasses. So after a little bit of torching, I realized there's a little rubber grommet there where our water line, I don't want to start melting that. So I put a wet rag on it and let's see if we can heat this up enough to get this bolt out. Now we got it nice and hot. Let's see if we can work it back. I don't know if it's going to come off. If it snaps, we'll just have to drill it out. Let's see what it looks like. Look, it might be coming out. So swing and a miss. We'll leave the glasses here because we're gonna have to drill that out and Healy coil it. So figure we put the exhaust housing on first since we have that cleaned up. That looks like we'll just get the bolts in this. And then what I'll do is I'll flip this over and pinch it in the vise here, and then we'll drill that bolt out. I'm gonna juice up these screws. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? going to clean these out first. I'm going to run a tap through these, make sure they're nice and clean. And then I'm going to clean it out with brake cleaner and I'm going to put Loctite in there. Now I'm not going to use the red Loctite, although this will probably never be a part again. I'm going to use the blue Loctite because I like that better. So let's get these cleaned out. Got my to quarter 20 tap in my drill. Now you have to be careful doing this. If it starts to go wrong, you have to stop or you can take forever and do it by hand. But if you hold it straight enough, you can get it done this way. All the threads are clean. Now I'm going to spray it out with brake cleaner. 
Now I want to spray these holes out with brake cleaner. I'm not worried about over cleaning this. There's no gasket stuck to it because we heated the crap out of it. So I'm just going to kind of clean these out, get it dry inside there so there's no oil so that the Loctite can hold on those bolts. Also spray up those bolts a little bit, just the threads, not going to go too crazy. And then we'll get them in here. We're all lined up now, so we just need to tighten it down. So we did put the blue Loctite in there and make sure everything's nice and tight. Now we have that broken bolt we have to contend with. So we're going to flip this over get in the vise and we'll drill that out and helicoil that. So now we'll set this up. You can watch one of my videos on helicoil to show how to do this. I'm gonna drill with a small drill bit first directly in the center of the bolt. I'm gonna get as close to the center as I can. One of the keys when you're starting off is if it starts to go off a little bit, from the beginning you have to angle your drill and get it straightened out without snapping off your bit. So it's okay to be a little bit off. It's not gonna hurt anything. It just makes it a little harder because you have some bigger chunks. You have to break out of it before you can do the Healy coil tap. So you can watch my video on Healy coil when we'll go ahead and get this done. Now that we're all set, I got that bolt drilled out and we put a Healy coil inside there. So that's ready to go. Nice and easy. I sprayed out all of these holes because if you remember there was a rear bracket that mounted back here that had some rusty bolts in it so i sprayed them all out and then i'm going to run my little wire brush in here just like the engine block we're going to go ahead and run a tap down these threads each one of them to make sure they're nice and cleaned out so when we reassemble everything goes back together nicely make sure our, our studs for our block go all the way through nice and easily now we'll get our gasket since we have all the holes cleaned out. The large holes where our studs go through to hold the block, I actually just took a drill bit and ran it out just to get all the corrosion out of that. So let's get our gasket. Make sure our holes line up the way they're supposed to. And now our repaired piece here with the JB weld on it. Came out nice if I don't say so myself. We'll get this in here. Now this has aligning dowel pins on each corner. So that's what we're going to line up first. That's that one. And there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and slide our midsection back on, our swivel bracket and that will sit down. We're gonna make sure this is cleaned out here where our motor mounts, where the rubber parts sit. Just make sure there's no debris or anything left inside there. And we'll get that in place. We have now our swivel bracket on. Just fit it back into place. I didn't put the little clip on the bottom yet. I'll get this secured first and then we'll flip it over to do that. The rest of this is in pretty good shape. So now when we want to make sure seals off well, this is our tube that comes up for our water flow up from our water pump. That's actually going to go through this gasket because it has its own rubber seal that meets with the bottom of this. So we want to make sure that everything is cleaned off here. There's no gasket left and it's nice and clean here because we want to make sure this gasket seals off nicely. So this not only seals off our exhaust and our water flow, but it also attaches and holds our motor mounts. So I do see a little crusty on this, so I want to clean this up a little bit. Put a little lubricant in there too, so that they thread in nicely. Now, before I tighten this up, I almost forgot, I have these two Phillips head here that hold on that rubber piece with the trim that holds our side panels in. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and put that together now before we put this on. So we got all those little screws in there and that plate on there. It has a little chunkster out of it here. It doesn't really matter. It's the side panels that count that hold on here. So let's line this up. All right, so everything seems to be lined up nicely. Now we can put our clip back on the other side. Now we're pretty much set to drop the motor on this. So what I'm going to do is get that clip on the bottom here for this swivel section. So it's ready to go. Um, we do have to do 
This one, we have one more bolt to drill out to put this in here and, and Healy coil that. Then we'll get the side pieces on. Then we'll hoist this up onto our stand and get the engine block ready to go on here. So we're coming to that point. Oh, it would be nice if we put our shift shaft back in. Definitely want to make sure that's in place before we go ahead and mount, uh, <laughs> mount the motor. And there is also a bracket here. We'll clean this up a little bit. Uh, this bracket goes on here. We'll get those bolts back in there. We cleaned out those and, and ran a tap through those nicely too. So then we'll continue on with this project soon. And we'll be getting ready to drop this motor on here and put the finishing touches on it, put the lower unit back on. We have a new water pump for the lower unit and I have to get a couple of thermostats. That's pretty much the only parts I think I need to order for this and we'll be ready to run. So please.